y'all. So I wasn't gonna record. This is day one after surgery. Day one after surgery. The things you don't think about that you need. I'm dominant right hand. First of all, welcome to the channel. Oh, I'm showing you the rough cut, <laughs> okay? Welcome to the channel. If you are new and you're thinking about joining, today will be a great day. Every day will be a great day. Go ahead and hit the red button. Y'all like the video, share the video. <sighs> Try not to laugh too hard at me in the video. So welcome to Tommy's Homestead Garden, the budget gardener. So, I had this hand done right here yesterday on the 16th. Today is the 17th and I'm struggling. It was a rough, rough, rough night. Once that pain, whatever they gave me started wearing off, I feel everything in this hand. Oh my God. Your thumb controls a lot of muscles in your hand. I did not realize that. Y'all probably already know. But when I, because they want you to move your fingers, you know, throughout the day. And they want you to test your circulation. If you press your finger, it turns pale and then goes back. Then you have good circulation. So this is my first time doing it today. And it seems like it, it has great circulation or somewhat. But anyway, the struggle has begun. So I am about to, it took me forever to put this on. Mind you, I have to take a shower. Okay. Can't get this wet. So I have to go downstairs and get some zip, get a Ziploc bag and Put it on here. My husband has the left for the day. He told me to stay in bed, but I need a shower, y'all. So my kids are in school. They're they're some of the kids have already gone back to school. My kids chose to stay home and do theirs, you know, because of the pandemic. So hold on, a message come to my phone. I said, you know what? Why not vlog? what I'm doing. I'm already three minutes in and haven't really done anything. So it took forever to get just this jacket on because I said, oh, I need to go and turn the light on downstairs on my plants because the weather flipped and it got cool. So I wasn't able to plant them outside and be done with it. Um, it's going to be another week before I can do that. Okay. So <clears throat> excuse my voice. It's very raspy in the mornings, and I don't know. They said they didn't put anything down my throat, so I don't know. You know, I like to consent if somebody don't put something down my throat. But anyway, I don't think they did. So, like I said, it took forever to put this on. I don't have a bra on. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet because um, I'm not going to put that on until after I take a shower. So I said, well, let me throw this jacket on, you know, I didn't even try to zip the thing up, but anywho, neither here nor there. Look at my head. <laughs> what? I said, let me try to do it. And I realized just trying to do this pinching motion, it hurts so bad, y'all. It hurts so bad. So I'm just going to try to brush it up and you know what i didn't even think about my hair when it came to having the surgery done that i needed to have the surgery but i didn't think well maybe you should braid your hair down that way you know maybe your daughter can help you put your wig on or something um but i had no intentions on recording but then i said you know what why not record what i'm really really going through um, and I know it's other people have bigger issues than what I'm dealing with. So for one, the needy homesteader 
y'all pray for her. You know, she lost her husband back on Valentine's Day. They took the kids out to eat and they were leaving and a drunk driver hit them head on and killed her husband instantly. She broke two of her, she broke both her arms. Um, her legs were crushed. Um, her son, the youngest son, because she has older kids too, like I do. And her younger son, um, his arms, um, to the point where the bone was protruding and her daughter as well with the arms. Um, her husband died, they said, instantly. And I'm sorry, I got stuck in front of the camera because I did not realize, wasn't paying attention. But y'all, pray for her family. Um, so like I said, I'm, everybody is going through something. So don't think that I'm not mindful of that. I am very mindful of that. But I too am having my own struggles right now. And I, you know, just keep that in mind when I say, oh, I can't, you know, try not being able to use both your arms and both your legs. Um, I couldn't imagine because I'm struggling with just the one. So I'm going to brush my teeth. Well, y'all, I like to squeeze from the bottom, but my son comes in here and he squeezes from the middle. So it messes up my whole toothpaste experience so i have to press from the bottom and get this to come up it's some there we go are y'all that kind of person are you like squeeze from the bottom or you squeeze from the middle i know that's a crazy question but it's it's different people that do different things like i just said my son is a middle squeezer person and i'm so proud of him y'all the other day when i was um uh, the day before the surgery, I was doing a tips on hardening off your plants. And he came out while I was doing that. And he was, he had just got the email and said he was accepted to, um, I'm sorry if the camera's not totally on me because I didn't have my stand up here. So I have it kind of laying. Okay, there. Hopefully it'll stay there and not move. He said that he was accepted to um, the University of South Carolina. Big deal. Not for football now. His academics is on point. And he's been accepted to um, at least four or five schools now. So he has some choices to make very soon. Feels better, y'all. <laughs> so anyway, y'all can't smell my breath now. I know my breath was coming through that phone. Anyway, y'all, best investment ever. I'm just getting one this year. Well, the end of last year. I've been using a regular toothbrush. Who knew? My mouth feels so much fresher with an electric one. Now, I only showed y'all a part of me um, brushing my teeth. Don't think I brushed my teeth for that short period of time. I love mouthwash, but whew, this stuff burns. This is a great mouthwash, y'all. So, I don't know what to do with this head. I'm going to have to take it down and let my daughter brush it later, maybe. If I can get her off her phone long enough, you know, she's a teenager. Because I was like, oh, I'll just rock the bun, you know. Sorry for the dangly titties. Anyway, let me zip this up. <laughs> let me control them. Ooh, ooh, wee, wee, wee. Okay. Oh, God. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Okay. That's the best I can do with my hair. My husband be like, why do you put on makeup? Because it makes me feel good. So I'm just going to put a little, a little smoosh on. See if I can get my son to do something for him. I know it's out of the question for my daughter because 
she will lead me at the first sign of a book. So uh, let's go downstairs. I got my face on. <laughs> hey y'all. Wait, let me turn light on. Okay y'all, so I made it downstairs and it's on me because y'all already know my kitchen and stuff ain't clean and I can't do it. My daughter, when I got home yesterday, she called my husband into the hallway to ask him a question because she didn't want to ask him in front of me. So she asked me later, she said, Mom, you want to know what I asked Daddy in the hallway? I said, not really, but if you want to tell me, go ahead. So, so what she asked him was, so Mama had the surgery. How we going to eat? Do you know what my husband said to her? Not, baby, I got this. I know how to cook. Because he does. He knows how to cook. He said, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, y'all. I got two fish tanks. That big one and then that little one that was just standing in front of. I mean, the kitchen is bad. But it ain't, I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Um, so, let me show you what I did. Oh, wrong hand. I cannot carry that. Hold on. Yeah. Whew, okay. Now, they ain't even wiped the counter off, y'all. They ain't put a trash bag. They took the trash out, but they ain't put a bag in there. Ooh. They send my help, but they be wanting the allowance, though. Okay, so I had, um, y'all excuse the mess. I'm trying to get this to lay down. I about not ate up all of them, y'all. They so good. I got to make some more. So I used, let me flip the camera. So now I'm going over here. I brought my um, seedlings in because the temp, it didn't get down below um, 32 or anything. It didn't get down to 32, but it did get down to 43. And you don't, <clears throat> you don't really want to leave your stuff outside when it's below 50 because the roots and all that stuff, they enjoy the warm, warm to them is like in the 50s. So I just brought this stuff back in, my beans, and I think those are miracles. I don't know what those are, honestly. And then <laughs> I brought my peppers in, which peppers can do great outside, but I just decided to bring them in. Um, oh, God, help me, Jesus. I'm holding the phone with my left hand, y'all. That hurts. So... I brought these sweet peppers in, y'all. These have been sitting outside for um, about two weeks now. Hold on, let me turn this on. Light on. Let me turn this light on. So like I said, I have my, I'm using my ring light as a grow light and it has been working just fine. And this is the actual grow light that I have in a regular lamp. Um, your ring light, if you have a big one, the lighting on it, the lumens on it equals up to what a grow light is. So don't think that you can't use your ring light. The only ring light I wouldn't use on this is one of those really small ones because the lumens, the lumens is what counts. Like it doesn't even have to say grow light, but if you have the correct lumens on it and I have a video on that as well if you want to go back and check that out so over here i have my sweet peppers i brought these in y'all because i'm like they're not doing anything so i'm gonna put them under the green light uh, green light <laughs> i'm gonna put them under the grow light and see what they do and since i did that now mind you they've been outside for two weeks do you see that all of a sudden They are coming up. So I think I did the right thing by bringing them in. Look at that. Coming up. 
right there. Now, in this one, I don't think anything's coming up. But the fact that some of them are, I feel so much better about having brought them in. So, I'm going to put the ring light. No, I'm going to leave the ring light over here on these. And then tonight, I'll put them over on the sweet peppers. For now, I'm just going to put this light on them and just sit it in the middle. God dang it, that hurts. I'm doing too much with this hand. Okay, so that's gonna give them the heat and light that they need. And then over here, cause it's a rainy day, y'all, is no, no sun. But, oh, oh, ooh, almost fell. I'm gonna give them some light. Oh God, I almost fell. That's all I need. I already have a hurt back. So they can get whatever light they're gonna get from here. Push that over there. Also, y'all, I have these seats right here. They look like cantaloupe seed because they're somewhat like a cantaloupe. I found a melon in, uh, did I say melon? Melon in um, Sam's Club when I did a grocery haul like two weeks ago, maybe. Um, these seeds came out of that melon and it was a melon I'd never tried before. It's called, um, dino melon and i think it's something that somebody tried it, anyway you'll see that in my sam's haul and when you do just note these seeds came from that melon because the melon tastes really good it's like a white flesh melon and it's juicier i mean so much juicier than a cantaloupe i was talking to my husband he said wait i can't talk because it's just too much juice in my mouth i was like eh, that sounds nasty but anyway um <laughs> So, uh, I'll probably cut that part out. But anyway, they smell so good. Mm. Anyway, just want to share that. The noise you're hearing is the dehydrator. I got my phone leaning against it. So, I have a smoked sausage. So I have this link. This is the jalapeno and cheddar in the sausage. Y'all, this is so good. Mm. On a normal day, I would probably eat this with some onions, but that would require me chopping up onions, and I can't. Kind of hard enough. It took me 30 minutes to do the um, kiwi. Okay, so got a little ketchup. I'm gonna my tea upstairs. I'm drinking oolong tea. The oolong tea great for movement, if you know what I mean. So, I thought that would be good for after surgery. I use it anyway, but especially after surgery. Mm, that crispy. First meal of the day. I'm turning to a waitress. This is how I'm toting it. And I gotta go upstairs with this, y'all. Wish me luck. My day is kind of winding down, even though it is um, only one something in the afternoon. So as you can see, the head, it looks still a hot mess. Um, I just took my shower and I managed to not get this wet at all. Had my hand in that plastic bag, but it is very difficult to get your armpits. <laughs> but I got them. Now I'm about to find a video to look at. I think I'm gonna watch Renee's garden. I've watched a couple videos while I was walking around, trying to get a little bit of exercise just by walking throughout the house. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch a few videos, leave a couple comments, and I'm gonna take my medicine while I'm sitting here. I have my water bottle right here. I'm gonna put that on my nightstand. I have my oolong tea with my apple mint in it. So good. It's gotten cold, but it's still good. My medication that I'm about to take. And so I'm about to chill out, y'all. So thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this stuff. Or maybe I just won't do another video. So y'all take care. Bye. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel.